QuickBooks Desktop 2024 How to Update Software. Get ready and some coffee because we're locking into some non stop QuickBooks Desktop 2024. First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, uh, actually, we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But, but that's okay, whatever because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like our crunching numbers is my cardio product line. Now, I'm not saying that subscribing to this channel, crunching numbers with us, will make you thin, fit, and healthy or anything. However, it does seem like it worked for her. Just saying. So, you know, subscribe, hit the bell thing, and buy some merchandise. So you can make the world a better place by sharing your accounting instruction exercise routine. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. Getting access to QuickBooks Desktop 2024. So people might have a few different situations, a few different scenarios at this point. One scenario being that you already have access to QuickBooks Desktop. However, you have the prior year version, 2023. If you have QuickBooks Desktop 2023, you are most likely on a subscription basis because the owners of QuickBooks Intuit had moved to a subscription model for the desktop version by that time. So in which case, you would just need to upgrade from 2023 to 2024, a process not as easy as just making updates within a year, but still a pretty easy process. Now, you might have access to QuickBooks Desktop for a year prior to the point that they moved to the subscription model, in which case, you may still be able to use that software, but if you want to move forward to 2024, you would think you'd either have to purchase the software or use the 30-day free trial. The other place you might be is you might not have access to any QuickBooks Desktop at this point in time, in which case, you might either want to purchase it or you might want to get access to it so you can te test it out and practice with it and you could possibly use the free 30-day trial for that. So first, we're going to be talking about the upgrading. So if you had 2023, we'll talk about the upgrading process to move it from 2023 to 2024. And then later, we'll talk about the process that if you don't have anything at this time and you want to get the free 30-day trial, we'll look at, at that process. So first, we're looking at the scenario. You already have QuickBooks Desktop. You have 2023. You're trying to upgrade it to 2024. Okay, well, the first step would be to make a backup because doing the updates here are a little bit more complex than just updating the updates that are within a year. In other words, Intuit, the owner of QuickBooks, will have updates during the year, in which case you could just have automatic updates on typically. And then at the end of the year or each year, they usually have a whole new downloadable software to have the full upgrade from year to year. So that's where we are at now, moving from 2023 to 2024. They usually release the new updates, as you can see here, before the end of the year. So kind of like with car sales, right? The 2024 version has been released before uh, the end before the, the start of 2024. So you may get an email providing a link to your Intuit account. So the question is, well, how do I do that then? Well, you might get an email and the email will walk you through the process. It'll give you a link to the account and you can, and you could go from there. However, you might get spam and stuff. I worry about spam. I don't like clicking on things on emails, even if it's, for, if it's from a trusted source like Intuit, because you know, there's some, there's some, uh, people, sneaky people out there and they try to bait you and whatnot. And you don't want to eat the bait because you know, there's a hook in it. There's a hook in it. And so I, ha I don't, even if I, any case, so you might want to go directly to the Intuit website, because if you purchase the software, you should have an account there. You go to the Intuit website and then you can download the new software or the upgraded software from there and install it, which should basically overwrite in essence the other prior software for the most part unless you don't want to do that in which case you would have 2023 and 2024 on your computer but usually you would basically kind of update it to 2024 and then go from there okay 
So how do you do that? Well, if you go to the Intuit website, intuit.com, intuit.com, the owner of QuickBooks, they have multiple softwares. I would typically then go to the Intuit up top. Their website currently looks like this. It's have this option up top to go to the Intuit portion of their website for some time now. Then there's a drop down currently on the right to sign in. You don't want to sign into your online QuickBooks because we're using the desktop version at this time. So if you have the desktop version, then uh, that's what we're talking about right now. If you go to the desktop version and sign in, then you have your manage screen over here. So now I've got different things that we could manage on the screen. You might have uh, the desktop, you might have an online and different kind of options here. We're looking for the desktop version. So that's what we would click on here. Now then you'll usually have the software on their site so the software is downloaded on your computer but you still have the information on their server because it's a subscription type of model so it's not going to upgrade automatically but they still have the information uh, related to your subscription model online so you look up your subscription here and then you can download now this little button will allow you to download it directly but most likely you would first like to go into the details because you're going to need the product number and license number to finish the installation. So go into the details instead of the drop down and then you'll see your product details. This license number and product number, you're going to need those. Make sure you have them, screenshot them, save them somewhere uh, because when you install, you might have to, uh, you might have to shut down uh, uh, the, the internet, right? You shouldn't have any other programs open. In other words, when you install, sometimes you do and you kind of cheat and you're, you're kind of rolling the dice there. You're like, whatever, I'm not closing programs. I'm not taking off my, especially my antivirus. I won't do it even though they tell you to. Okay. Okay. But, uh, it, you, you generally want this closed and that means you're going to want to save this license and product number, possibly like in a clip, board or something like that that you can reopen pretty easily when the screen pops up that says you're going to need the license and product number instead of going like ah and then you have to log back into into it and you forgot your password because you never have to go in there because you have the desktop version but you have any case so then you then you download it so you can download the 2024 version and then here's the download if you're in chrome it'll look like this right it's going to download this is not the actual software. This is the software that's going to run the software, right? This is the installation software. After you open it, it should install automatically. If you have any problems with that, you can then download this onto your computer and then open it. But usually most people just open it from here and it should open and start the installation. When it installs, it first has, this is a little tricky because here's your QuickBooks license agreement. And most people are like, yeah, whatever, I read it. Uh, uh, and then they continue. Not me, I read the whole thing because I'm completely, that would be lying. I don't lie to it. So I totally like, but most people probably <laughs> to click on it and then, but they make you click on it, which will open it in a browser. See how this is, this is beige out right here. So you have to click on it and then it gives you the button to say, I've, I've read it. So they can, they make you at least open it up. So you probably read like, the bold first bold word on it or something and then you can continue so then it's then here it is here's the page i told you it was going to happen this is where it says license and product number so you need that license and product number you probably forgot what that was when you first purchased it because you just used it to install the first time and then you forgot about it but if you go into your intuit website and look at the details in the same place that we went last time you can find this information without having to contact into it or anything because that's a pain and you can get it there and it's not a problem i know it's frustrating you should have saved it onto a a, a a document like i said last time any case nobody listens to turtle so choose your installation type so most people are, are usually going to use the express which will install uh install using the default settings so for, I mean, if you have a standard installation on your computer, that's usually what you're going to do. However, if you don't want it, for example, possibly to overwrite the prior software, you want 2023 and 2024 on your computer, you might not want to do that. Most people would want 
you know, it to overwrite from 2023 to 2024, you would think. Uh, or if you're at a larger company that is insolv installing it on a network, then of course you want to talk to your IT and have them help you with the custom and network option installation. But again, if it's just your computer, uh, it should be, this is recommended pretty simple, straightforward process.